Hey guys, what's up? This is Ron here and in this King of All Star video, I'm going to review the Dead or Alive 6 collaboration volume 2 characters in details and I'm going to talk about their skills, their course and whatever you need to know. And as you can see this beauty in my screen right here, she is not yet available in the banner or whatever she will be available in the volume 2 banner so if you are looking for this death angel like character just save your ruby guys wait for the volume 2 which is going to be released uh, within 5 or 6 days at most i believe uh, and there are other characters so i'll be reviewing them all both in details so make sure you watch this video till the end to know about all the volume 2 characters in details and their dots and all effects and make your decisions that whether you are going to wait for the volume 2 or whether you are going to summon in volume 1. So this is going to be really useful guys so make, the, uh, make sure you watch this video till the end and please guys give this video a like and subscribe to my channel guys. So let's get into our topic first. And before I get into a topic, uh, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my viewers who made a comment that whether there will be another card banner or not. Uh, that is uh, Mordant Seer. Mordant Seer. I hope I'm not pronouncing it wrong, my friend. Sorry. But big shout out to you, my friend. Uh, and the answer to your question that I believe that there will be no second card banner whatsoever because all the cards are will be usable in all the characters which will be released in both the banners which uh, I'll be explaining momentarily. So as you know guys that uh, in this uh, volume on banners so far we are having SS Kasumi, uh, Gulab character New Tango and Mary Rose in the banner but of course uh, there are two more other characters that we are uh, having already that is uh, we are having SS Mary Rose in Lucky Event and SS Honoka in the Carnival so first just let's go ahead and check out their abilities and their course and their skills because uh, I sorry guys I missed uh, to talk about them in my first video I I, I really apologize so let's guy uh, let's go and go ahead and have a look so the first uh, character I'm going to review uh, now this is SS Honoka special signature Honoka and she is one of the strongest character in the game right now guys I'm telling you that she is really really strong and Many of uh, the experienced guys who have already got her are talking about that she's almost as strong as SSQ. Now let's go ahead and check out the skill and look at the skills. Everyone is so large and the first skill that is going to inflict damage and going to gain super armor for 3 seconds when using a scale. And it is also going to apply infernal frame to the target for 7 seconds upon using a successful attack. And it will deal burn damage for 30% of attack every one second. So very cool first skill with a lot of burn damages. And this is going to be very ideal for characters who are weak against uh, burn damages. Especially in guild raid, uh, in uh, rugal, against uh, rugal in hard mood. Yeah, in hard mood uh, guild raid against rugal. That will be freaking useful guys. Even at uh, Stu's 2 star, she will be go going to do a lot of damage. And let's go to the second skill that is going to inflict damage and gain uh, hyper armor. That is both super armor and damage immunity for 3 seconds that we have all seen in these uh, skills of all most of these SS uh, characters of this collab. And this is going to be, uh, this can be used while being attacked, only while standing. Okay, uh, so the next skill is going to inflict damage equals to blah 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 percent. And use uh, increase attack and deals burn damage equals to 130% uh, of attack. All enemies upon hitting a burn target. So, 
and it also stuns the target for three seconds upon landing a skill guard included wow amazing skills guys so this skill is going to be supported by the first skill right here the first one is going to apply burn damage and this third skill here is going to deal additional burn damage uh, I mean freaking amazing burn damage dealing character guys if you are looking for a burn damage dealing character uh, if you don't have Kyo Kusanagi then she is an ideal character for you guys almost as much as good as Kyo Kusanagi no way man really really great skills right here two skills applying burn so excellent against uh, you know hard mode guild raid against uh, you know rugal so let's let's check out the course right here and she has an ideal core right here with a 30 percent power charge rate and a critical damage of 18 percent attack of 150 percent and has a skill enhance uh, that is grab and uh, grab uh, kind of uh, be problematic against uh, you know characters like uh, you know, guild raid or immortal bosses whatever because grab doesn't really work on those places so this is a kind of a bummer right here but otherwise there is a continuous damage enhance right here that is burn damage so in other characters uh, as uh, for example in ss kasumi we saw increasing shock uh, in new tango you saw increasing uh, darkness and in this character this is going to increase burn so she has two burn skills in her active skills two active skills with burn and also burn in her core my goodness though she looks like a damn school girl but this girl is on fire guys and also we have this critical uh, rate increase uh, and increase active skill damage per to burn enemies by 90 percent holy crap guys look at this she has a ton of skills and her character, her opponents will be burning all the time, most probably all the time. And guess what? Against those burning characters, her active, st active skill will increase 90% extra damage. Oh my god, she is freaking OP my friends. I cannot stress enough, she is freaking OP against the characters who are weak uh, against burn. Holy crap! And she will be easily doing a billion damage against uh, hard mode Rugal without any further question. Excellent character for hard mode Rugal. Oh my god, full of burn. Look at this. And also 20% chance to deal additional damage equals to. Okay, okay, fine. This card increases increase the attack by 5%. Uh, Okay, the similar core right here for all the, uh, you know, uh, data alive characters. So that's basically it, guys. So let's just go ahead and uh, check out some of her skills. And I do believe that her skills will be amazing because she's full of burn, man. And this is the first skill right here. Look at this. Look at this. The character is burning and thrown in the air second skill right here kind of grab and the third one right here she this one is going to burn the character as well now, the third one doesn't really have a burn but it is going to inflict a great damage if the character is already burned so go for the first skill then go for the third skill that would be the ideal way and this is the core finisher right here ah yeah hell yeah pretty long pretty long as a core finisher this is pretty long and nice and this would be the 3 PG the Feral X finisher right here. Look at this. Look at this damn thing, guys. Freaking long. Freaking long. Amazing. Amazing. And most probably this will not be interrupted by any characters, I do believe, any bosses. As she's an SS character and any of the SS characters, 3 PGs are, you know, no one can just interrupt them. Whether it is SSMI or SSQO or whatsoever. So be 100% sure that 
this uh, TPG is not going to be interrupted whatsoever. So I got. I think I have talked enough about this guy and this uh, little school girl. Though she is looking a little girl, but she is freaking oh man, powerful as hell. You saw the skill, guys. You you saw the course. You you know it, guys. You know. So let's talk about this little girl. Little girl right here, Mary Rose, who is also an SS character who is available to that uh, lucky event. And let's check out the skills first. And as the first skill, she's going to inflict damage. She's going to gain super armor, which is both uh, super armor and, and damage immunity for three seconds. And as a PvP exclusive, that is going to disable targets active skills for four seconds. Four seconds upon landing a skill. Wow. I mean, for four seconds and PvP, your opponent won't be able to use their active skills. I mean, that's useless, right? Wow, crazy. For four and four seconds means a lot in PvP, guys. And four seconds means a lot. So, let's go to the second skill and it's going to inflict damage. Once again, it's going to gain super armor for three seconds. Wow. Super, so, hyper armor on the first skill and super armor on the second skill. Oh my god, she is a kind of invulnerable character, I do believe. And also, uh, this is going to increase target damage received by 20 second, uh, 26%, uh, and whatever. So, two, two skills, I mean, hyper armor, super armor, amazing. So, third skill, uh, that's going to inflict damage, that's going to in increase penetration for 1400 for 7 seconds. And deals radiation damage for seven second guys and that means starlight and starlight means what lunatic gildred boss rugal against rugal gildred in lunatic mode starlight is the thing that you need and of course people who are having characters like chrysalid who is doing starlight damage are kind of you know, ruling that guild, lunatic guild. So this character can also be useful as well because this is in the active skill and active skill can be used again and again. And this is going to be last for seven seconds, not for four seconds. The starlight is seven seconds, which is as equal to as BS Kizalit. Freaking amazing guys. And that's it so let's just go and check out her course here and she has an ideal 30% power charge increase core critical rate increase 2.4% attack 150% type of defense defense that is going to de decrease damage received from defense type even enemies by 6% is okay skill enhanced strike 8% skill enhanced team strike and penetration increase by 2.256 Small devilish servant decrease damage received by 75% when attacked. Each uh, HP is 50%. And uh, 50% chance to stun the attacker for 3 seconds when attacked. And gain 20% power when combo count is 10 or higher. So there's a lot of chance uh, your, uh, your opponent is going to get stunned. Uh, uh, when attacking this character and there's 50% chance which is a big one more than 30% 50% chance is actually a good one and decrease damage received by 75% if the HP is 50% is going to help immensely because 75% decrease damage received means a lot guys a lot so the survivability of this character is questionless unquestionable this is going to endure a lot this is why she can be really useful in places like guild raids and immortal bosses because she's going to just survive and as a blooming bloody rose her final core that's going to reset strikes and uh, strike reset strike strike active skill uh, that's a mistake i guess right here uh, uh, anyways Reset, reset, reset active skill cooldown upon landing felicit uh, with x so 
whenever uh, you are going to use the finisher, it is basically going to reset your active skill cooldowns or whatsoever. Cool. And also we are having this usual course for the seven deadly scene characters right here. So pretty damn amazing course right here. And she's a balanced type character, guys. And as a balanced type characters are characters are always you know famous for their survivability. And with that decreased damage received of 75 freaking percent, uh, she's going to survive a lot. So let's take out her skills. The first one right here. Uh, this is kind of grab one. Okay. Uh, and that's going to grant her some uh, super armor. Hyper armor as well. Damage immunity as well. The second one. This one right here. Active skill. Okay, let's go to the third active skill. Uh, this is going to throw the enemy into the air and give you more chances to actually uh, deal more combos. And this one is actually going to deal the starlight, as you can see, seven seconds of long starlight damage. And this is going to be the core finisher right here. Uh -huh. I cannot see her face, I'm sorry. That was pretty long, right? And this one is a 3 PG right here, Fatal Extras, which is going to also reset your active skills as well. Good, damn, damn good, damn good, 3 PG right here, pretty long as well. So overall, pretty nice and solid character, in my opinion, guys. And as she has an SS unit, so unquestionably she is great. If you don't have other SS unit, she is going to be a really good burn damage dealing character out there and uh, in my opinion she is uh, uh, equally uh, not be equally as good as Chrysalid in Starlight but she will be do, do, uh, dealing Starlight uh, damage uh, and other things rather than other characters and she would be the second best Starlight damage dealer no doubt. Now let's uh, now start with our volume 2 characters because our volume 2 characters uh, uh, especially this one first will be the SS version of New Tango with the black wings right here so let's check out her skills and on the first skill she is going to inflict damage and she's going to increase attack and apply bloodshed for 6 seconds. Bloodshed is a definitely great useful dot and that will uh, deal bleed damage equal to 30% of her attack. And bleed as a dot is, of course, is a great dot, but currently in the game, um, only the guild mode uh, against Nightmare Geese in the normal mode, where uh, the bleed will be kind of useful. Otherwise, uh, there are some immortal bosses, that's it and but definitely as they have released uh, this ss character with bleed damage of course netmar will have future plans and releasing bosses who will be weak against this bleed damage and she will be an ideal character against them and of course uh, there are other bleed damage characters in the game so don't worry about you don't if you don't have her and on the second skill she's going to inflict damage and going to get gain uh, gain hyper armor that is both super armor and damage immunity for three second is going to increase target damage received by 22 percent okay so on the next skill going to inflict damage and that's it by the way so let's go and check out the course first and she has also the 30 percent power gain a penetration of 192, attack of uh, 1050, and the continuous damage uh, enhance that is going to be bleeding in her ca case. So she has both bleeding in her first skill and in her core. And skill enhance there will be grab because she has grab in her skills uh, and. And the tom and the def defense will be increased by 1520 and tomboy tango princess is going to decrease active skill cooldown by 0 0.25 second upon landing an attack on a bleeding target so that's actually is going to uh, 
help your PG gain a lot as you have seen in trailers that she can gain immense amount of PG because she hits a lot of hits and this is going to help a lot and in the final code that is that has cast a shield that absorb damage for 7 seconds when attack is HP 50% or more and this is one of the unique things that's happening currently in the game and one of the shield uh, having character is BS0 original who has a shield as well and this girl right here is going to generate a shield as well and let's uh, see what kind of shield she's going to have whenever she's going to release as uh, if her shield is as good as PS0 or not. So let's go and check out her skill previews right here. And in the first skill, look at this. Look at this, look at this bleeding right here. And reminds me a lot of gains, trust me. Once again, another gains like skill with a uh, lot of windy things out here. And third skill right here. There's a kind of grab thing going on and yeah and she has grab in her core and this is the first finisher right here hmm pretty long nice one nice finisher and the 3 pg finally the factor rush x 3 pg and this kind of as same as her swimsuit version and of course the effects will be different guys because uh there will be a lot of uh, difference in the effect as the developers have confirmed in their pre-recorded video uh, i have shared and actually reviewed that in my channel so though uh, the 3pg of both of her versions look same but they will have extra effect for this ss version and look at this beauty right here angel of paradise honoka oh my god Oh my god, she just stole my eyes, stole my heart, guys. Look at the details, man. She's so thick I and mean, I'll just love her. So let's just see how her skills are. And she has kind of pretty detailed skills. And on the first skill, she is going to inflict damage, going to get, gain super uh, hyper armor. That is both super armor and damage immunity. And apply infernal flame to the target for 6 seconds upon a successful attack and deals which is going to deal burn damage so infernal flame on her first skill very very welcome uh, hard mood uh, guild raid rugal welcome welcome so the second skill uh, she's going to inflict damage and going to in use increase attack and for 35 percent and becomes immune to damage for four seconds okay four seconds just okay not too much but still it's a damage immunity i mean for four seconds she's going to be freaking immune to all sort of damage i mean that's big we have seen this thing before in 70s collab in pain where this is kind of pretty annoying to be immune to for four seconds and this is awesome guys and this is skill and with no cooldown oh my god just 10 seconds of skill cooldown and if you can reduce the skill cooldown you can get this uh, immunity for damage immunity for a longer time and she is a freaking you know collab character she's not a bs uh, or a, she's not a special signature character so wow i mean there's a lot of potentiality i'm seeing in this character already and next skill is going to inflict damage it is going to deal radiant damage holy crap both burn and starlight in her active skills tell me something more about it guys can you believe it starlight means lunatic mood uh, Giz, uh, Lunatic Mood, uh, Rugal, yeah, Lunatic Mood, Rugal, Starlight, but, uh, I'm actually not sure that how much survivability this character will have, because she is an attack type character, uh, but you have to really build her really well, and make her up to at least 4 or 5 star, 
which you can do easily because she is a collab character and not an SS character. So, wow, great, great skills right here, guys. And also 70% chance to reset cooldowns upon a successful attack. Holy shit. This is going to reset the cooldowns of the skill. That means you are going to be able to, you know, repeat the skills again and again. And that means a lot of starlight guys. So burn and starlight both in her skills. Amazing. I have to say amazing. So let's check out her course and first core is the continuous burn damage okay we know about it already this is amazing and then a critical damage at uh, increase of 18 percent wow that's big and attack increase of 150 skill enhanced strike and power gain of 20 percent instead of 30 percent uh, but i believe she won't need that extra 20 percent of power gain because of that reset ability of the skill and penetration by 256 and truth behind truth that is going to stun for three seconds upon entering targets affected by burn or starlight oh my god so whatever the effect is whether it is burn or starlight the enemy is getting stunned for three seconds with only seven seconds cooldown wow i mean wow Cool. Really cool. And for the final core, that is increased active skill damage dealt to targets affected by burn or starlight by 50%. Amazing core right here, supporting the skills. I mean, when the cores are supporting the skills in the same way that this character is doing, this is going to get ama amazing. Amazing character, guys. I really love her. I really love her style, I really love her shape, everything and now I'm super impressed with her core and her skill. So let's check out the first skill right here and this is going to do the Infernal Flame. Wow, burn damage, a lot of burn damage right here. The second skill right here is a grab. So all of them has more or less grab right here. The third skill right here is going to apply the starlight, look at the starlight. And the first finisher right here. Hmm, pretty long, pretty much long. We have seen this finisher already, you know. And the final one it's is the one. Wow. Oh cool. Cutie cutie cutie. I love her really. Oh man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Amazing. Nice one right there. Nice. So finally we are having this uh, swimsuit version of Kasumi, which is Angel Paradise Kasumi. She's an defense type character green character and look at her guys oh man just look at her her health if i just keep at looking at her who is going to describe the skills so let's just get into her skills right now so the first skill she's going to inflict a damage she's going to get super armor for four seconds and note this this is not going to be a hyper armor or damage unity just super armor and deals venom damage to target for six seconds after landing a skill venom damage uh yeah there are certain bosses who is weak against venom damage of course uh the uh, guild uh, nightmare geese in expert mode but i don't believe that she will be an ideal character in that kind of hard modes right here even uh, characters like bs uh, uh, zero even he struggles so, okay, she, she deals by Venom damage and that can be good in, in against immortal bosses if, if, if she's supported by a good leader. And also, inflicts, she's going to inflict damage, also going to freeze the enemy. For, so, hey, she has freeze. She has freeze, she has Venom. Cool. And... Freeze is going to help against certain immortal bosses, my friends. Great. Really, really nice. On the next skill, there is going to 100% chance to reset the cooldown upon landing. Wow. But a total 100% chance to reset the cooldown. I mean, simply repeating the skill. That's it. 
and besides that it's going to deal poison damage once again and remove poison effect when attacking a poisoned let me see it once again deals poison damage equal to 2.5 times of remaining poison damage and remove poison effect when attacking a poisoned enemy that is dot explosion my friends that is dot explosion right there so though she looks like a uh, you know beautiful lady just just to sit beside you you know in the beach but she's going to be ideal against immortal bosses my friends a lot of immortal bosses are weak against dot explosion and of course against venom yeah and of course freeze a lot of things you can use so let's just go to check our core and this is the skill enhance this is strike uh, hit, hit, uh, strike uh, sorry a uh, skill enhance of strike 12 percent strike skill enhance and critical rate enhance of 2.4 percent attack by 150 percent continuous damage enhance of poison uh, that we have seen in other dead or alive six cores and she's going to get 20 percent power charge which is good and defense she's going to get a 1520 defense and spell rest small rest that's going to decrease damage received by 85 percent for four seconds when attacked with a cooldown of 15 seconds okay gains damage immunity for three seconds uh, using active grab skill so okay these are okay this is not going to help against these you know immortal bosses because uh, grab is not gonna work and at last code the easy going escape ninja that is going to increase the attack by 35% when HP is 80% or more which is amazing for a uh, defense type fighter and gain 10% power when combo count is 10% or more so pretty okay nice score nice score right here so that's it guys that's pretty much uh, all about her and all the volume 2 characters that are going to be released on uh, volume 2 so now you guys know all the details of uh, the characters that are going to be released on volume 2 so now you can compare uh, according to account according to resources and make the right decision of in which banner we are you are going to summon and in which uh, which characters are actually going to be helpful and make sure guys that uh, uh, some of the characters are SS and some, some of these characters are just uh, you know collapsed so keep that in mind so make sure you watch this video uh, I hope you watch this video and you enjoyed it already it's already too long and I'm so sorry because I have to review a lot of things in this uh, with details and I have to make comments so I hope you enjoyed this video if you are already at this point please guys just uh give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i hope to see you guys soon in some other videos till then stay awesome stay safe peace out